here we are out off Richmond Road at Pennington Place. Used to be now 300 at the circle. And I'm with Larry Lieberman and Nathan Metzger. And these guys are with the Barrington Group and Metzger Construction. And what we've done today is unveil the reformation, the reinvention, the transformation of these apartments out off Richmond Road. We've worked with these guys, the city has, uh, to uh, reimagine this property. And when they first came to Lexington, they were looking at Lexington, they were looking carefully, they were examining, they weren't precipitous, they didn't jump quickly, they were looking at us. We first looked at the area before we really spent any time at the property. And we liked the city. It's clean, it's progressive, it's growing. We need markets that are expanding because it creates opportunities. And we liked the people that we met. We spent time here, we stayed here, and we met the people. And we fell in love with the city. We fell in love with the people. And then the icing on the cake was that we met the city administration, you and your staff, who welcomed us with open arms. And that's very important to us, because if we're not wanted, if it's going to be hard, then we can't do what we need to do. We were this close to buying another property in another city. In fact, we had it under contract, uh, an option, I should say. We had it under option to buy. When we came here and we spent time here in Lexington and fell in love with the city, we did, it was clear to us we wanted to be here and not where we were looking. Nathan, you were, you were talking about, you were talking just a minute ago, you've done a lot of these projects, a lot of places, and you have to plan carefully. You do. Uh, as I mentioned to you, you can reposition the property in the market, but you cannot relocate the property. It's where it is, uh, geographically where it is, and that meant a lot to us. The, the uh, confluence of Richmond Road and New Circle and the, the uh, neighborhoods in the area and all the economic activity said to us that this is the right place to be. Our companies, Barrington Group Incorporated and Metzger and Company, have partnered together for almost 22 years now doing the same kinds of things that you see us about to do here. So this is not our first rodeo. We have done together new construction. We have done this rehabbing and repositioning like we intend to do here at 300 at the circle. It's important to know the ingredients that are necessary for us to do these kinds of things. One of those ingredients is we have to have a market that's vibrant, that's growing, that's progressive, and most importantly, has it a city administration that is open to cooperate. So, why are we here in Lexington? Well, all those ingredients were at present. We like the area. We like the city. We love the city. We like the people in the city. We spent time here. We ate dinner here. We ate breakfast. We ate lunch. We stayed a couple days. We tried to meet as many people as we could. And we, this is a nice town. We like it. And then we met the mayor and his staff. We have to have people who want us here. This is a tough task to take a property of this nature and turn it into what we hope you will see today. But we need people who want us here. We had council delegations come out here. KC Crosby, council member KC Crosby, just relentless doing the job of a good council member. You know, I, I, when I think of KC and the way that she wrapped herself around this project as in her council district determined you know, that, that we illuminate that this was, the property was a real problem and that we need to do something about it. Just reminds me of that old aphorism about the pearl in the oyster. You know, that little speck of sand, the irritant in the oyster that makes the pearl. And so that was over two years ago. And 
Then, as we move forward and dial forward, there was interest in the property. But, you know, I, I, I have to confess, too, that coming in from the construction business and being in it all my life, Tom, the design business, a little bit of that, I saw what was here and, you know, I mean, really sort of distressing. And there was interest in it, but when Barrington and Metzer showed up at our office one day and we talked, you know, to Nathan and to Larry and to Tom and met Rhonda today, and it didn't take me long. They had their picture book. They had their portfolio of projects. <laughs> and it didn't take me long to realize that these guys are the real deal. They had the system. They had the approach. They had the experience to get their arms around this problem, this project, and to do something remarkable and transformative for it. And <clears throat> what also they had was the discipline and the determination. But what I really liked about them was something I'll, I, I love quoting Warren Buffett on this. Buffett will say, take care of the downside, the upside will take care of itself. They were coming at the project not with an overzealous optimism and enthusiasm, but with a disciplined enthusiasm and they were just like Larry said I know y'all were testing us too <laughs> do we really want to do business here because they're making an investment and that is a risk and in today's world we got to remember that's what it's all about still it's about the private sector willing to make an investment in a property in people in a city we're happy to be included as part of the team that is redeveloping this project uh, both the Barrington Group and the Metzger Company have been uh, great partners. Um, I actually lived in this complex when I was at school at UK. Uh, at that time it was known as Williamsburg Square and it was a pretty nice place to be. Uh, swimming pool, tennis courts, volleyball courts, um, a great sense of community here. That's the word we keep hearing today. But it was a nice place to live. Um, and then I, as probably most of you, watched as this place changed owners, changed names, and eventually became uninhabitable uh, and became a blight in this area. Um, but, you know, even last spring, as I walked the property in its deteriorated condition, it's a beautiful piece of land, uh, mature trees, nice rolling lay to it. It's a, it's a pretty piece of property right here in, in town. So I think there's a lot of advantages to it that these guys were able to see beyond uh, what's obvious. Um, you know, I want to congratulate these guys from Barrington Group and the Metzger Company uh, for having the vision and really the courage to take on this project. Uh, they have an obvious track record of success with these, and I expect this one will be another feather in their cap. Um, I think they should be commended for their commitment to our community uh, for creating what I hope will be a catalyst for change in this whole area and for providing work opportunities for people in this community, myself included. <laughs> and uh, I look forward to seeing uh, 300 at the Circle become a viable part of our community again.